Hey everyone and welcome back to the Finance Zone. Penny stocks are shares of small companies that typically trade for significantly less money than shares of larger companies. Despite the name, the term penny share can be applied to any stocks under $5. A penny stock might be sold on an over-the-counter OTC exchange, but many are also sold on SEC-regulated exchanges like the New York Stock Exchange, NYSE. Penny stocks have historically been subject to scams and artificial price inflation due to their ease of manipulation. One of the most popular forms of penny stock fraud is the pump and dump scheme. During a pump and dump, marketers who hold shares of a particular security intentionally spread false or misleading information about the company issuing the stock, which causes the price of stock to rise sharply. After the price has risen, the holders dump the stocks at inflated prices onto those buying in after hearing the news. Most penny stocks represent smaller or newly formed corporations, so this may not always be possible. If you do decide to invest in a stock with negative EPS value, make sure that it has a manageable level of debt. Solitario Zinc Corp, XPL. Solitario Zinc Corp, XPL, has one foot firmly placed in the base metals through its zinc mining operations. Interestingly though, it recently expanded its purview to gold through an acquisition. Solitario management's rationale for the acquisition goes like this via President and CEO Chris Harold, With the unprecedented planned stimulus spending throughout the world due to COVID-19, we believe zinc is exceptionally well positioned for years of increased demand related to infrastructure spending. Accordingly, we anticipate our two zinc assets being our interests in the large high-grade Florida Canyon and Lick projects, as managed by our partners, will remain our core assets. In addition, we want to take advantage of our in-house wealth of experience in the precious metal arena and believe we can add shareholder value by acquiring and advancing gold and silver assets, as we believe precious metals will benefit as a store of value as countries expand their currencies to fund the stimulus. A good track record plus some diversification? Sounds promising to me. Add that to an incredibly strong balance sheet with quick and current ratios both at 34.8 and negligible amounts of debt. A recent quarter over quarter earnings per share, EPS, increase of 96% and my optimistic long-term view for both the base metals and precious metals. And in our view, you've got yourself a winner. Verify Me Inc, V-R-M-E. With the rise of cyber fraud and piracy over the past decade, internet security and protection services are growing increasingly important. In short, if you need something verified for authenticity, Verify Me is the company you're going to look to. So how's business going? Not too bad, actually. The group's financials certainly are impressive for a penny stock. The quick and current ratios at 16.9 and 17, respectively, suggest a bulletproof balance sheet. Debt equity is low at only 0.01. Meanwhile, the gross margin at 83% is stellar. The earnings figures are particularly impressive. EPS next year are set to rise almost 100%, and over the past five years, they have grown at an average of almost 60% per year. Admittedly, there is still substantial risk and potential downside here because the company is, after all, a penny stock. However, these numbers seem to have started leveling out over more recent quarters. Worst net income over the past five years and the past five quarters has yet to show a profit. This is deeply worrisome. The losses aren't staggering, at least not yet, but they certainly aren't sustainable. Still, Verify Me is looking to me like a company on the way up. Patient investors with an appetite for risk, this one's for you. Telefonica, TEF. Telefonica provides fixed and mobile telecommunication services operating in Europe and Latin America. The company was founded in 1924 and its headquarters are based in Madrid, Spain. In November 2007, shares of TEF reached $34 a share. Since then, shareholders haven't had much to be happy about. The stock trended gradually lower from then until this past November when it finally formed a bottom around $3.30 level. Since then, shares have recovered and trended higher. TEF is currently trading around $4.50. Investors seeking yield or income may want to consider TEF. At its current price level, the annual dividend of 33.6 cents is a yield of 7.5%. The street is neutral on Telefonica. Three firms cover it and provide research. The consensus rating among them is a hold. The average target price is $4.71. This is about 5% higher than current levels. 
MFA Financial, MFA. MFA Financial is a real estate investment trust, REIT, incorporated in 1997 and headquartered in New York City. During the broad market sell-off last March, shares of MFA broke below the $1 level and became a literal penny stock. But since then, they've come back. After trending higher since then, they now trade around $4. But even with the rally, the shares still have an impressive dividend yield. It pays 30 cents annually. And the current price level, that works out around 7.2%. Only two firms follow MFA and both have a buy rating on the stock with an average target price of $4.13. That's in line with where the shares are currently trading. Global Self Storage, SELF. Global Self Storage is an REIT that owns and operates self-storage properties. The company currently owns and manages 13 properties located in Indiana, New York, Ohio, Pennsylvania, South Carolina, Connecticut, Illinois, and Oklahoma. In a matter of days, it lost over 20% when it fell from $4.25 to $3.25. Since then, shares have rallied and have exceeded the levels it traded at before the sell-off. However, even after the rally, the company pays an attractive dividend. The annual payment of 26 cents a share gives the stock an attractive yield of 5.78%. The chances of success of global self-storage probably exceed the prospects of similar companies that don't pay one. Anworth Mortgage Asset Corporation, ANH. Anworth Mortgage Asset Corporation is a real estate investment trust, REIT. It manages a leveraged portfolio of residential mortgage-backed securities and loans that are guaranteed by government-sponsored enterprises. These include the Federal National Mortgage Association or the Federal Home Loan Mortgage Corporation. It was founded in 1997 and is headquartered in Santa Monica, California. Last spring, Anworth became a literal penny stock when it broke and traded below the $1 level. During the COVID crash, panicked investors sold their shares regardless of the price. The investors who were buyers were the ones who made the right decision. Now, the stock is trading around $2.92 level. But despite the rally, Anworth still pays a nice dividend. The annual payment of 20 cents a share is a yield of about 6.8% at current levels. A Census Surgical Inc. A Census Surgical Inc. is the biotech penny stock formerly known as Transcentrix Inc. On Wednesday, March 3rd, the medical device company received a major announcement from the FDA. The announcement stated that Ascensus Surgical had received an additional FDA clearance for its Senhance Surgical System to be used in general surgery. This system allows for multiple uses in the surgical setting. This includes digital laparoscopy, hepatic feedback, 3D visualization, and more. As you can see, this system aims to be the cutting edge in robotic-assisted surgeries. While robotic surgery may seem like a niche area, companies are fighting for the top spot in this industry. Because certain surgeries can be extremely complex, the need for a better and more precise method is extremely pertinent. Also, using the Senhance system can allow for more cost-effective surgeries and less room for error. All of this presents plenty of benefits to both patients and doctors alike. Upon the announcement of this news, shares of TRXC skyrocketed by over 20% on Wednesday. Whether this bullish run can continue remains to be seen. But in the meantime, TRXC is on my list of penny stocks to watch. Ambev SA While the markets dipped on Wednesday, shares of some companies like Ambev have gone against the grain. The company is best known for being the Latin American arm of Anheuser-Busch. During the pandemic, we know that many across the world drank alcoholic beverages, among other things. In this light, it makes sense that ABEV and other alcohol stocks managed to flourish for months. Though the penny stock dropped during the first few months of the year, it hasn't totally turned off Wall Street analysts. In fact, most recently, UBS adjusted its price target higher on the stock from $2.09 to $2.28. However, the firm maintains a sell rating. Needless to say, Ambev was coming into the first quarter of 2021 after a strong finish to the year last year. In its latest quarterly results, Ambev recorded a boost in profit thanks to higher sales. The company reported a net income increase of 63% to $1.3 billion. Net revenue in the quarter also rose 20%. The company said it's confident it has built the correct strategy to deal with the challenges it faces in light of difficulties resulting from the pandemic. As the market focuses on reopening, or epicenter trade, consumer staples and discretionary goods could be a focus. In light of this, ABEV stock could be one to watch as markets attempt to recover.
Remember to check the description and use my Webbull referral code for two free stocks.